Okay, good win. Uh, proud of the guys. That was uh, <clears throat> that was tough. We knew this thing was going to be tough. Uh, and uh, Iowa State's uh, a good football team. They they battle hard. They means a lot to them. So they they put up a, a fight. You know, going into halftime, I thought we were fortunate to be up. You know, there were some things that didn't go our way in the first half, but I, I thought we were fortunate to be up. Um, but uh, guys did a good job of coming out in the second half and, and, and playing much better. Um, this group's tough to beat like we beat them. So proud of the way that we did that. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, guys get hurt. It's a long season. Uh, you know, they had guys step in and, and, and play well, uh, which is required of good teams. If you don't have guys step in like Petaway stepped in today, then you're not going to win. And we've had guys do that all year, and, and uh, proud of the way the guys fought to uh, to get our ninth win and uh, sixth win in the Big 12. Take some questions. When you're talking with Petaway about maybe having to, to play this year, you know, how do you frame that to him? How does it react? What's his attitude like? I don't think he could have done what he did today. <clears throat> Handled the ball 30 times, and he caught a pass, I believe, too. But uh, if he wasn't locked in and tuned in, I mean, he's he's a very unselfish kid. I think this we have a very unselfish football team, but he's a very unselfish kid. Uh, been back and forth on scout team. He's played Thursday night football with all our developmental guys. He's developmental lifted. He's take, taken practice reps. He's traveled. He's been ready to go. There's been about three or four times where I've uh, been real close to putting him in, but we've always had another guy step up and carry the load for us. So. It just got to a point today when, when Crawford went down, I knew we had to play him. So he was ready. He's a smart kid and looked pretty dang good, too. I mean, I thought, I mean, he looked good in practice, but until it happens in a game, you don't know if they can handle it or not. I'd say he handled it pretty good. <clears throat> so couldn't be more happy with, the, with how he responded and, and, and how he played for us. Probably the reason we won today. Our pass defense is pretty good in the red zone. Uh, we go against it all the time, and it's a night for, nightmare for me to go against our guys. So I, our pass defense is really good. You know, I Gibby does a great job of emphasizing. I know he's probably a little upset with the amount of yards that they had, but at the end of the day, that's not the stat that really matters. I mean, you got to look at uh, points inside the 40. Uh, we held them to field goals. Uh, you got, he, we didn't give up a defensive touchdown, right? I mean, that's that's just that's you're, that's that's winning defensive football. I don't care how many yards they had. Uh, created four turnovers. Um, and then as a team, what I'm proud of is we capitalized on their mistakes. You know, we, we when they the, the onside kick, we scored there. Uh, the fourth and four, we scored there, and then a couple of the turnovers, we scored as well. So capitalizing on their 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 mistakes is is what good teams do, and that's that's kind of been a thorn in our side this year. We haven't necessarily done that as much as we've needed to. We did a great job of that today. Good. Um, has Skyler had 100 yards this year? He had 89. Yeah, he's had 100 before. So, um, yeah, it's good. You know, he does, he manages it pretty. He, Skyler does a great job of that. You know, we're we're seasoned up front. Uh, I think we've recruited well at running back. So, you know, if you got a quarterback that can, that handles the run game well, if you got an old line that. Is, is pretty seasoned on what we're what we're trying to do up front and does a great job in the run game. And then you recruit good, and then you got a chance to be able to do that. So, you know, they're all good players. I'm glad we got them all because we we're, we're, we've needed them all. Last year when we just got through the year with two guys, I mean, I, we knew that that doesn't happen very often. So, being able to have all these guys ready to go is is big. Uh, I don't know if I totally understand the question, but, um, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, 
Shelton made some big plays. You know, the pass game's frustrating at times. I, I don't think Skyler did a great job early in, in the pass game. Um, I felt like we could run the ball on these guys. These guys are pretty good in pass defense now. You know, we knew that. So the game plan coming in was the run it a bunch. You know, we played with a lot of tempo. Um, was bad on third downs. Um, I don't know. Do it works. I've resigned myself to that. Whatever works, do it. Don't care about stats. Don't care about how many times we throw it. Don't care about how many times we run it. Do it. Do whatever you got to do to win the game. Talk about Marcus Sims and other guys that stepped up today. Yeah, you know he's practiced well. Um, Karan goes down with an ankle, and Marcus stepped in there and. I think the first play he was in there, he scored a touchdown. So the second place he was in there, he scored a touchdown. But he's been our backup all year, and he's practiced hard. And um, Not surprising to see him go in there and make some plays. He's got tremendous speed, and he got behind one of their guys and scored. Surprised he didn't score on that last one. <clears throat> I think you mentioned last week that this is going to be a difficult week in preparation. What did you do? Anything different, or was it just a matter of emphasizing, hey, we're going to do the same thing? We just we emphasize the uh, effort. We emphasize energy and excitement. That's what Iowa State does. They play with great effort. They create energy and play with a lot of excitement. And I just challenged our guys to that's the key to this game. And I thought we did a great job of that. I thought our sidelines was great. I thought everybody was engaged. Even the <clears throat> the ten players that were wounded and not able to play, those guys were energetic on the sidelines. So I thought that was a key to why we came out in the second half and and played played well. You know, uh, just matched their effort. Thought we played with good effort, matched their energy, uh, created our own energy on the sidelines, and got excited about playing the game of football. If you don't like football, then you're not going to play very good in this game. Uh, I think our guys likes football, and I think our team likes each other and does what they got to do to be able to win. Yeah, you're seven to one in November last week. Is there a reason, yeah. explanation, Tom, thing you think that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I haven't really thought about it. What happened to Crawford that you had to him out? He got hurt. I don't know. I mean, I haven't talked to our guys. We had about 10 guys get hurt. <clears throat> We've had a lot of our main players that weren't playing. Nobody cares about that. It's It makes it challenging. Nobody cares about that. You find guys to be able to go in there, and you hopefully they're coached up and ready to go, and I thought our guys were. Are there any packages that didn't feel comfortable Marshall running just because they haven't been out there with us? The only, the only thing I second-guessed was – or not second-guessed, but kind of – was like, eh, was that the screen? Because there's some timing as there's a timing aspect of that. That third down screen was huge, you know. And we scored a couple of plays later, but um, he he's a smart kid and he's paid attention and he's gotten a lot of reps. You know, I mean, these guys that don't play in games, they don't play in practice either. So, uh, but that was the only one. Other than that, I'm comfortable with him doing what he's supposed to be doing throughout the course of the week to, to play. And he looked good. I was hoping he would, and he did. Good for him.